Suppose you play a game where you flip a coin and then roll a die. If the coin comes up heads, you roll a die whose six faces are numbered one through six. If the coin comes up tails, you roll a die whose four sides are numbered one through four. Use a tree diagram to find the probability of getting heads and the number three. So let's first understand what's going on in this scenario. And that is, when you flip the coin, you can either get heads or you can get tails. That's a tail. So, we use the tree diagram. This tree goes off in its branches. And one half of the time, you'll get heads and one half of the time you'll get uh, tails. It, when you get heads you roll the six-sided die and you can get either a one or a two or a three or a four or a five or a six. So these are curved branches and each one of those has a prob probability of one in six. So I'll put one, two, three, four, five, and six. And just to uh, blanket label this, I'll say one in six for each. You have a probability of one in six for each of these tree branches. If, on the other hand, you get tails, you roll a four-sided die. And you can get either a one, or a two, or a three, or a four on this four-sided die. One, two, three, four. And I'll blanket label these as a one in four chance for each of those. So you can get all these combinations. You can get heads and one through six or tails and one through four. You cannot get tails and a five or tails and a six. So let's look at what's being asked in this question. This is the probability of getting heads and the number three. And to do that, we're going to multiply the probability of heads times the probability of getting a three. in this part of the tree. So that equals the one-half multiplied by the one in six. Or as a decimal, that's about 0 .083. So the real lesson here is this. Drawing the, the tree diagram uh, requires you to understand the question, what is happening in the first step, and then what is happening in the second step, and then uh, when you want to find a probability, and oftentimes these are, these are called conditional probabilities, this, this second uh, set of branches. When you f want to find the final probability, you multiply along the entire branch. So what we did for, for the uh, heads and three, we multiplied the one-half and the three. So just highlighting that. Now, if I were to do another one, just to give you another example, what if we wanted to find the probability of getting tails and a 1? Tails and a 1. We are going to highlight or multiply along this set of branches. So that equals the 1 half multiplied by the one fourth, because remember each of these smaller branches has a probability of one in four. So that would equal uh, one in eight, or about 0.125. I'll leave it in a fraction there so you can see where this is coming from. All right, so there's uh, one example of using a tree diagram.